New tonight, a tale of two parks. The city of Cape Coral <laughs> just bought this old golf course and they want to turn it into a 100 acres of family fun. It's surrounded by hundreds of homes just off Country Club Boulevard. The property is beautifully green, but its supporters of another park are raising an eyebrow. The Night Beats Haley Zarconi joins us now live in studio. So Haley, why did some people go home frustrated tonight? After years, one neighborhood is finally seeing a decision made for what they hope is a future park. But this comes as J.C. Parkers are still waiting to hear what's next for them and their beloved green space. With two weeks until a decision is made, many are hoping City Council takes this extra time to think long and hard about the future plans for their neighborhood park. I'm actually going to give you a compliment. Hopefully that will be hit by lightning. Words of encouragement just rolled off the tongue during public comment for the city's newest buy. So I'm really excited about the golf course property. We've had the objective to try to acquire this property for many years. Um, finally, we're able to get it done for a price that we feel comfortable with. The city of Cape Coral is putting $10,400,000 toward the purchase. What's next for the 175 acres is still to be decided. Speaking of decisions, J.C. Park is still awaiting a decision on its suggested revamps. One project that I do not believe is, is historical is the overhauling of J.C. Park. That decision has been deferred to August 21st. Ideas of making the golf club the next city park are floating around. City Council wanted to make one thing clear. J.C. Park and the golf club are not the same. Two different issues. Um, you know, I, they have to be separated. They're not anything like each other, quite frankly. Um, both parkland, ideally moving forward, but uh, two different projects, two different agendas, two different sizes. A delay in the decision on J.C. Park is bringing hope to neighbors. I think we can get to four to four. So if, if it's a four to four vote, then uh, the, 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 the uh, resolution to move forward is not going to pass. And this newest piece of land is now in the hands of the city and their first order of business is to clean up the golf course and surrounding area. That includes taking out invasive species like Australian pines, the trees cherished by people at J.C. Park. Back to you.